November the 5th, 2020, uh, this is just the perspective of someone on a U.S. election, so 2020 on American politics in general, uh, of someone who lost 26 years of life because he did a stupid mistake. Uh, it's about me, I immigrated to the United States at age 23. And I'm now almost 50 in December. Something I deeply regret as it resulted in nothing than loss of 26 years of life now basically you lose entire life 26 years that's that's pretty much life you know that's when you're younger life counts when you're younger when you can you should have but you don't have no family no kids no nothing um it's something that however everybody globally should pay attention to because but what I'm about to explain you is pretty much why this world is doomed, not the United States of America alone. I mean, if you're an American, you're more than welcome to listen to this, uh, for you to understand why you are at, where you are at, and uh, basically what is expected of you uh, to serve us. Again, November the 5th, 2020. The U.S. elections of 2020, it's like this. I don't know how many of you have been in, in Florida or in Texas. I was lucky enough. Uh, also, I was really unhappy, miserable about it. But I didn't land a job as a truck driver. Uh, and I operated one in throughout the continental US with exception to Alaska and Hawaii. I had a chance to see metropolitan areas as well as smaller um, towns across the US which I mentioned two states Florida and Texas were like on a regular schedule. I used to live after all in Miami for no less than 11 and a half years. And when it comes to Texas, I can tell you pretty much the same like Florida. Uh, it mainly consists of, when it comes to the white ethnicity, which is about, it's about a, like 50% of the population declared itself in both states as white uh, I guarantee you majority of those people have already Hispanic not uh, DNA from Spaniards from Europe but solid Latino DNA uh, in them they somehow see themselves as white um, but this is just a fact of the matter along with predominant completely Hispanic population down south, also that's a Cuban population we're talking about, and they do have traditionally anti-sentiment against Castro and this and that, that's down in south, in Miami area. The majority of Hispanics, uh, including the Cubans, the generations of those, figure out that when it comes to racism, uh, there is no party uh, they would be willing to submit themselves to uh, for the sake of uh, some kind of uh, political views that they would sell themselves uh, to racism that's a no-no uh, with Cubans too they would not under any circumstances vote for somebody like Donald Trump is what I'm trying to say uh, none of these people would vote would cast vote for someone that openly gestured not only the big border wall but would let it come with idea to shoot Latinos in their foot legs whenever those would approach to a border even approach uh, with the stuff that Donald Trump 
came up with throughout his presidential career, four year, five year, in 2016 to now. Throughout this period, it became in contrast to 2016. Now, totally evident that guy is even more than a neo-Nazi, a fascist, if that's not bad enough, committed to a total crime. He's a crime boss. He opened like a big crime family throughout the United States. That's something that I can give him, as a matter of fact, even when it comes to casting boats, I can actually give him a plus there. Uh, there are people like this who own businesses and stuff that they would go and uh, literally, I don't know, have people, person work and then take him behind the dealership and give him a bullet in the head or something like this, in that sense. There are people like this. So they wouldn't have to pay, not even a, to pay. I mean, it's, it is stuff like this across the US and this kind of stuff actually quite universal I'm gonna put it this way uh, not only in the US it's also elsewhere that kind of stuff appears but people like this are very very few uh, you're talking about very few people like this now Donald Trump did diversify his issues uh, anywhere from industrial operations to sports corrupt politicians anywhere from business people to sports people to give sim seemingly a support to one how many of those people really agree with one i don't think so many but okay this is business but when it comes overall u.s population this is this is just uh, the elections 2020 is completely fake I know even more so because of my case, because of what I stated, the ruined 26 years of my life. And I know so more about the US elections than any other person does for that matter. Now, there are two people, I should say a family, that I was told govern Florida and Texas. And that family is known as the Bush family. A Bush family are a chameleons. They are like, I would just classify them as, not as a naturals, but I would say that they were brought as a con artists uh, from the crib. Since the day of birth, number one, I think that that's all they groomed them for. Uh, it's the both traits it's the traits both individuals share uh georgie george bush does and so does jeb bush jeb bush in fact even married hispanic mexican lady with whom he has son but know that these politicians don't have children only with the spouses uh such is big time case with all of them especially with Donald Trump so when you see that kind of stuff you should be really really skeptical about it unfortunately yeah this is also why this video is all about this video is about understanding the US politic and we will get to that um, why media doesn't cover why the truth does not penetrate into a public just look at my case uh, and you will understand that much of what's going on in the U.S. never comes out. It's not in the U.S. Maybe Britain is worse. I have no idea. Or Germany, maybe. But this is just the way the Western world operated in a post-World War II period. If ever was any different, for that matter. Now, I don't know how many of you are familiar with David Duke. That's a boss for the Klux Klux Klan. He did not manage to enter anywhere okay as much as once he was even successful in his Louisiana state uh, now with over 30% population black and the remaining population is greatly consists of mixed marriages 
and people that literally hate racism, they hate fascism, discrimination, agenda he try to implement, represent, uh, they totally rejected him. Um, that's Louisiana where the Donald Trump also won next to Florida and Texas. Indifferent from that, lucky for Trump, and it it became obvious that he they tried to apologize the news like this with few rappers that came out like I don't know was it five rappers or something like this that would come just prior to a final date November the third they came up yeah I give a thumbs up to Donald Trump uh, why well um, go figure out they came up with the same solution for Alabama they came up with the same like the same for Louisiana the same thing and even worse Georgia and there's some other state over there that I missed but that doesn't matter Georgia Georgia is like for you to, for somebody like Donald Trump to actually uh, bet somebody who would present a Democrat party that's like uh, outrageous joke actually uh, a Nazi a fascist would not stand any any chances in Georgia. If there is any state in the U.S., uh, I guarantee you in Georgia, uh, Donnie would not stand a chance at all. And then what they did is, I anticipate they hacked something up north. I believe that they hacked, like um, they gave to a Democrats. I believe maybe a state or something like this up north, which would be used in a later stage by a Donald Trump who already by the way complained to the court to the US court that he is not satisfied uh, demanding a recount to apologize the further scam which I'm talking about uh, to the world to the US people is he's a victim he always was now I want to go straight to the matter um, it's like this in 2017, that's when I filed for political asylum in Belarus, and I'm certain it did happen again afterwards. Inside of this room here, inside of this house, and inside of this room, again, we had a crazy, a crisis here. We had here Donald Trump, and believe me, that was not a bot. Uh, it's something that Americans even incited me in buying myself a masks from eBay, from Putin, from uh, Donald Trump. Uh, they did so. British Americans encouraged me to go and imitate them. Uh, that a stunt, stunt is going to get you views now. It's not going to get you views, but it's going to screw you up. Uh, they are selling the silicone mask and stuff like this, so they can go and goof and do the stuff like this. It's not only Bora that will have this. They came up with a plan like this uh, to protect the politicians involved. Putin, everybody, Trump, royals, and so on. They figure out they are so evident that something's going to have to be done. And they started to contemplate involving various actors into... Uh, idea that they gonna at some time at some some age is gonna say oh no man it, it was just somebody that played like this it was not a real Donald Trump or it was not a real Prince Andrew or whatever Harry or whatever uh, George Bush and so on they did come up with this kind of idea I just want to tell you I just want you to understand how far this bullshit goes how committed you know you're talking about the real Trumps, you're talking about the real Bushes and the real Royals and real Angela Merkel. And began to insist to me together, I am not even kidding, on how this is going to go. Um, throughout this entire MK Ultra operation, I already have told this for every scenario they recorded themselves with three other scenarios um, it never was they brainwashed on one but 
there was on the side they will also one time they will record another scenario so that if you would say something or whomever they have distributed distributing that material they always lied on a possible whatever they wanted to portray to the people so my view is what i saw it but i believe it was custom made views for particular people for whom whomever they try to instill idea uh for whomever they have created view for them basically just like it is um for this situation i'm gonna tell you it was very very bipartisan and i am very very sure this is not something that it would be that it would be isolated or whatever they jump on me it wasn't the first time insisting on how donald trump all the time insisted on joe all the time was worried about how he's going to exit his presidency that he's going to do this to help me out and what's going to happen is joe is going to cover up and and so on and so forth uh and that i'm going to have to just go and uh, go along with the flow and follow basically instructions comply and it's not easy to tell to somebody who lost 26 years of life Sebastian Kurz involved in this stuff also reminded me with a recent crime over there in Vienna that took place that left a lot of people dead that a suspect he also threatened me in person this is the most brutal individual maybe one of the most physically and psychologically abusive people they literally use needles to stab uh, physically tortured during MK Ultra told me that I already missed in fact already screwed the situation big with my with my stuff and what bothers him is basically my conduct against the fascism against the Nazism against traditionally traditional hatred German hatred against Slovenian people I'm Slovenia uh, I don't know how much Mr. Kurtz is aware of that I think he is half mad I would say along the Angela Merkel. I think they are completely insane people. Uh, I don't know how much they are aware about that, but this is just a hard fact, something they're going to have to learn the hard way to understand, finally. He insisted me that I am a part of the problem because of what I started to talk against the politicians and this and that that they give me a chance and that I con them. This is why if you read the paper, if you read the media, and you're going to you're gonna see that uh, of Macedonian, I don't know, uh, individual, uh, a Macedonian origins is the one that committed, that, that wanted to go to ISIS, I don't know, to Syria, and I don't know what else. Uh, really funny, they put him into counter-terrorist probation program, rehabilitation, and he conned Austrian state and came out radicalized started to kill people right because this just happened out of blue right right after you go to that kind of program you come out with a machine gun and you just start shooting people and so on and all that comes just like this um, out of blue to you everything everything is just lays down to you like a domino uh, and this is going to be used basically to warn me because there will be no next warning and so on and I'm gonna tell you that this kind of stuff is actually very very realistic uh, Sebastian Kurz talked about especially because of individual a chief from chief of United Nations was already of particular branch World Health Organization was involved in this case already 20 years at least 20 years he's already involved in this case alone at least I said he observed and finally got handpicked. You know, believe it or not, because of his past, because of his very, very suitable uh, for this case, for this type of the case, uh, communist past, communist profile, it was a credential that guaranteed him uh, to have a great impact on me and possibly even on China. I have no idea what exactly uh, how that would be from from which aspect that would be 
um, other than key seemingly seemingly protected China or through the man who knew about the coronavirus coming already 10 years prior to appearance of coronavirus uh, as far as myself he insisted if I would point at one uh, he no longer could even defend China so basically again we have a compromise which I would refer to as a knife under the throat now in other words he did a crime like this so I would talk about him so he would go I guess and uh, do something against the China in the name of his I don't know uh, communist past credentials that actually give him you know, stuff the right to do the stuff like this in that sense China I guess would comply or something like this I have no idea uh, how that stuff entirely would function or I should say what they would try to portray in the eyes of the people they managed to accomplish whatever through this case it's completely different it was completely different again in 2017 um, right here inside of this home and I bet probably even in 2019 completely completely different uh, how it's gonna be what is gonna be the election results almost like 50 50 okay 48 to Trump uh, 51 52 to Joe Biden they demonstrated literally in the computer how it's gonna be the count and all this and that how this is gonna be like and insisted that it's gonna go to the court if the only thing that is expected of me is to -da 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 and put more proofs and more proofs and more proofs online and be quiet the brainwash itself was preceded by Barack Obama alone I'm sorry to maybe touch the idea of improbability impossibility to take matters in your own hands however I do not compromise in these issues um, on how when he started the presidency he was extremely cautious and they did warn about this they make sure that on a Yahoo News you would see that uh well does biden even have any kind of power is is even stuff like this you know when you start the presidency uh the previous president still have i don't know for how many days uh he can even declare the war and stuff on another country and stuff like that uh will he even last in this and that and you know that kind of issue that they really reminded me of what obama was talking to me about about um uh, you know how I need to be quiet like a mouse basically do my stuff uh, be silent comply don't say anything no now realistically looking about the stuff that I talk to you folks about stuff that we have seen throughout Donald Trump's career as a president uh, stuff that flared United States of America into a civil war situation I know that Donald Trump does have few loyal supporters okay he does there are people that will uh, appear uh, express the public support for him and they're very loud and they carry machine guns uh, but those people you could almost count like one two three four five you know it's nothing like the protests we have been seen from the United States when black people were killed um, it was all kinds of stuff racism exploded it went on um, it was nothing like five rappers that came to support Donald Trump five minutes prior to election date uh, through which they attempted to apologize crime against American taxpayers in particular against me 
it was nothing like this it's actually nothing like this it was nothing like this that would apologize um, Donald Trump's 48% uh, L people casting bot for Donald Trump casting him 48% support uh, nothing like this would apologize 48% at most what Donald Trump earned realistically looking is 10% if he did if he did earned in 2020 10% this is gracious um, okay let's double that to the 20% no the 20% is a really really high number I have to disagree with totally but i tell you what let's cast it to this to the 20 percent under no circumstances however you can tell me that hispanics in florida and in texas view the stuff that went against them throughout trump's presidential career different from their counterparts in Nevada, in California, and I don't know, Washington State, actually in the West. How the <clears throat> would they see this? We're not talking about different people, we are just talking about the same people in a different states. Um, under no circumstances that this kind of hijackings, this kind of stuff, from my point of view, is going to be tolerated. As per somebody's gonna be telling me about how I have to be quiet, how I have to be careful, and it better not even say anything about what went on against me. Uh, that the only thing I am to do, and that's how they're gonna help me out, is basically but to keep my mouth shut and just basically do my stuff. Uh, that I am actually the one fooling basically the system, like Sebastian Kurz. Uh, reminded me of his threats that the next time what's going to happen thanks to this world health president uh, is really i'm going to be really completely destroyed you know because the damage they have done apparently was not enough according to him look the diarrhea they came up with that if i'm going to talk about the stuff like this that things can change even into worse eventually that they're going to do the count in California and in another state and I don't know where and I don't know what the fuck they're going to do and it's going to confirm that Donald Trump actually got 70% 80% support and so on and so forth that I have to be quiet from my perspective this is not going to happen I'm going to, I'm going to put it plain and simple for me this is not going to happen uh, for me it's important to know and for the people to know this more even so than in the United States of America because I am an Eastern European I'm from the Eastern Europe I am American citizen naturalized uh, in 2000 uh, with some kind of certificate of no use basically call him a slavery certificate for me it's extremely important that this kind of politic that some kind of belief would not develop that there is actually a Republican and there is actually a Democrat party that actually the two issues exist I am not discouraging you people from going out there and vote you know like he was yelling vote 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 I say yes go vote you have to go vote because right now that what you voted or not I think in my opinion is going to count even more because we are far from over for 2020 I think that's more stuff that's brooding behind all this stuff I think the most important is eventually to go for you out there and vote and hopefully vote for the Democrats anyways the problem with the Democrats are just few bad Democrats and just happen to be right on the top of this pyramid this is the kind of people eventually that earn money through calling you to go and vote uh, while collecting uh, anywhere from discounted properties 
Grammy Awards, I don't know what kind of awards, uh, basically buying silence, uh, I should say selling silence during a major national crisis, which this time involved even virus crisis, corona crisis, which when you, if you consider black population, what they have gone through, when you add this kind of uh, restrictions they implemented and all kinds of insane measures which did not help do anything at all of course we are talking about the chaos here chaos deliberate bullshit against people uh, only adds to extra pressure to extra problems to all kinds of mental issues to the people and that's exactly what uh, they targeted they they target people they they are doing they're melting down entire system entire american system as well as mine with this kind of stuff that donald trump got 48 percent i can tell you with the kind of politic that you're gonna be silent basically you know uh other hitler aka donald trump can be re-elected maybe again tomorrow or after tomorrow are you gonna try to tell me that in contrast to 2016 uh donald trump had actually some chances, some kind of chances to be re-elected. Re this is completely insane. No? Now I'm going to touch the issue also of some people that gestured that it was Biden who served 30 years inside of the government and had managed to accomplish nothing when compared to Donald Trump. Uh, well, when how can you even compare one since Donald Trump officially was not even in the government service, right? But you do have people like this walking down the street and telling you the stuff like that. Okay, it's like this. We all know, the whole America knows, and it's important for the foreign people, for the international society to know this kind of stuff. Um, we all know Donald Trump was what I stated, and it's what Donald Trump eventually even believed is going to buy him a point. Well, the news for you is that Donald Trump could never accomplish that kind of stuff without the total support of Joe Biden, who was present in MK Ultra from the first day, just like Donald Trump. Uh, you would go and do the unimaginable, the crime shit they have done to me, Donald Trump did, this Buckingham Palace did, and so on. They treated me not even anywhere like an animal. Uh, no, forget about human being. Or even slave uh, that you would do something like this unnoticed uh, it's a total BS I don't buy this even for a second he got a total permission from a Democrats for his actions um, regretfully I have to say when you consider this kind of politic it was not only that he was allowed to do this, but it was also Democrat Party right now. It was again Joe Biden. It was again, I regretfully say, Obama, who awarded Donald Trump with admitted 48% vote ballots, voting ballots. They are the ones they have assured and eventually extorted me on these issues with idea as per here. Uh, Donald, 48% uh, and to me, if you're not going to be quiet, if you go back to Sebastian Kurz, if you're going to do this, if you're going to say, if you're not going to comply, if you're not going to comply with a compromise, basically uh, Donald Trump can be re-elected again. Yes, international society, this is the way American politics work. And it's also what the Russians realized that it really really matters not whether it's donald trump or biden we are talking about the same convenience type of politic uh, which actually even breaks down i think on a people's conscience i don't really know how many people know about my case but i estimate huge number does enormous amount of people does and it's a number that actually equals to uh heard nothing, saw nothing, know nothing. 
uh, type of theory which is hopefully never is gonna spread onto other countries globally that what started in United States of America is not gonna flood the whole fucking world and turn one into like I said earlier uh, what I believe American politics have seen in Donald Trump even more than actually fascists and Nazis have seen as a really the most successful form is the gangsterism criminality is this case got more to do with the criminality which I believe by the way that Nazis anyways or fascists anyway this is a this is a criminal character is got more to do with than even a Nazi ideology itself even that he firmly stands for one he firmly stands for one right so that this kind of hatefulness division of the society fascism nazism would not eventually spread throughout the world through some kind of mobbing techniques some kind of um you know associating people start to associate themselves through some matter uh ideology ideologically uh relatively through the crime and that's why I said this is this is a really a talented gangster, a criminal. This is what he built his entire career upon. And really, it's sad to note that uh, a Democrat party just uh, literally happens to be part of this stuff. They are not. They were, in fact, completely unwilling to take initiative in this case. As I told them, I told you already on the internet. Donald Trump does not even qualify. He does not even qualify to be placed his name to be placed on a ballot because of what he did to me alone it's the kind of stuff that concerns just as the u.s constitution concerns united states every taxpayer in the u.s this case concerns everyone because it's the case that broke american constitution the case that broke all the laws and even global treaties and so on and i warned about this stuff three months prior to election elections it was the last time for you to come out and actually reveal this to american taxpayers to american people so that the democrats would not falsify the elections of 2020 like they did and worded him basically with a 48 percent by basically giving him uh, not to him an idea but trying to sell me a rabbit like this here he's got 48 percent support so just that you know there are very limited actions we can take against one we gotta be actually right obama we gotta be really really careful how we deal with it or even better because i mentioned the name obama because i mentioned the name biden now once they were re-elected all of you democrats are supposed to be fucking quiet about me or even better right am i correct about this and it goes the same to Borut Pahor from Slovenia, who actually even got a henchman that supposedly is a Nazi and is also ex-communist and is behaving like some kind of crazy Nazi in case he had to do something against me. So basically he's hiding behind me and just prior to doing this shit, he renounced uh, the people whom he supposedly uh, represented you know people like Milan Kuchon and other people and so on and so because I pointed him all of you in social democrats in Slovenia just note that I pointed your boss so just you know keep quiet keep silent about it right so even better about this we have seen a lot of this kind of stuff and I'm just trying to explain to the global society that it's more than just elections of 2020 that are totally unacceptable when it comes to American politic. And this, like I've said earlier, does have with American conscience. It does, it does have to do with uh, conscience of the people. If you will continue to view this as, oh, fuck it, it's, it's Eastern Europe. Let's just cover now. I just do whatever it takes to cover an individual who uh got us goodies over there or whatever 
Um, then, you know, uh, I think that you can count on something really, really dark about to happen uh, in your lives. Russians did realize what I what I am telling you right now. Um, this room here was like a Santa Claus room throughout the years. This was a Santa Claus here. See this room? It's like a Santa Claus. It will be like from the Santa Claus. Dear Santa Claus, this year I would like to get, I don't know, shoes or I would like to get, um, I, I don't know, uh, Nintendo or something like this or new skis or bike or whatever. Uh, this is exactly how a diplomats, foreign diplomats would come inside of this room, have me like this, drugged up in front of the computer and would sit right next to me and they would talk about, well, basically speculate their politic, in which direction it's going to go. Every one of them had their own speculations, meaning that because this shit here is so bugged, it's so fucking believable what this shit is. This fucking house, I told you, this is the house in which Putin was, George Bush was, and quite a few Hollywood people, and Pence, Mike Pence was here, a lot of people was here, not that they would live here full time all the time, Putin did, quite considerable amount of time along with Shoigu, when it all started, but because of all these intelligence agencies listening to this shit, sharing this information basically is why I said Santa Claus, you know, basically projecting bullshit through a single person, uh, stabbing, having war sometimes with one another through the simple person, through a once, one individual, literally through to me. As far as myself, there is no deal, there will be no deal with anybody, I want Donald Trump locked minimum i want him blocked uh for me personally he is the most important the number one and it implies also to the george bush and it also concerns bill clinton if you want to get more bonds together i don't give a three fuck about any of you it started with bill clinton went on through george bush he went through obama i don't want nothing to do with obama obama in my eyes is okay obama is just the way I feel, he, he's got limited um, space around himself. It's not easy, but I believe that this type of uh, constraint that, that he is just um, I don't believe that what I have seen in the US during Trump's administration that went on uh, that more couldn't be done about it. that he couldn't go out there and say listen sir what you're doing is a fascism I mean there's like a million proofs that exist that Donald Trump is a neo-nazi a fascist I don't believe that you couldn't do more about and call this individual out for what it was I'm not saying that you couldn't have done more for me during MK Ultra because you are not a bad person at all you did not you did not you do not cause me. I didn't. I didn't really have any kind of problems having you around. Really, I don't. I don't recall any kind of really bad stuff I would relate to. Uh, but it angers me that people have experienced this kind of stuff. Uh, it angers me that the whole direction is going in direction which I would refer to as no direction. Like you, you're gonna expect. You're gonna. You're gonna accept. Like the guy is actually talking about the court that he's going to go to the court and he's going to do the stuff you are actually accepting this kind of politic a compromise but i don't i don't and i hope the rest of the world is going to reject one another i hope the rest of the world will consider this video uh understand the u.s politic it doesn't work like this that one time is going to be the we the rest of the world is going to see it this way and then it's going to be that way and between all this it's going to be and this and this as per convenience of some people that are just uh, basically completely indifferent yeah you know in actuality from one another this doesn't doesn't work like this till next time 
And with that, it is now my pleasure and honor to introduce the President of the United States, George W. Bush. So, ladies and gentlemen, I present a White House election year album. And this is on the way to the G8 summit. Once I got these trading cards, it's easy to remember the names of the foreign leaders. <laughs> Those weapons of mass destruction got to be somewhere. <laughs> nope, no weapons over there. <laughs> Maybe under here.